this technology is like uh, at every level of it. I mean, I, we've not even talked about the mining of, you know, uh, of uranium. We're talking about people killed by nuclear power. Uh, the lung cancer among people who mine uranium. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was at the Navajo Indian Nation, which is like a major, out in Arizona, center for the mining of uranium. Uh, lung cancer has been absolutely epidemic because of their inhaling, you know, the uranium dust uh, while mining. And they've, they feel they're a sovereign nation, and they've now stopped any future uranium mining. I mean, it's not just the Navajos that have been impacted. Up in Canada, uh, in Australia, or in India, uh, there have been great impacts from uranium mining. And guess who are impacted the most? Dark-skinned people. I mean, you go on and on about nuclear power from, from the front to the back, from the beginning to the end, it kills. It's, it's not true. It's not true. Mm. Uh, I, I wondered about, I, you know, when I was growing up, I never heard about millions of, I don't know, tens of thousands of Navajos dying over your age. Was, is, uh, I'm sorry, is the, the Navajo, the, their reservation is in New Mexico, yes, I guess. Yes, and, okay. and Arizona. One of the major. It's in the four corners. And uh, when people heard about this uranium boom, and I knew, I knew, you know, fathers of kids I grew up with came to, to do this. And in high school kids from Albuquerque, uh, a friend of mine's uh, brother, he made thousands of dollars over summer working in a mine. I mean, you, if you could bring out the, the uranium, you could make like $100,000 a year, $60,000 a year. In 1950s dollars, you know, that's like huge. So people came from all over to mine. They came from the coal fields of, uh, you know, the Appalachian coal fields and so on. We had some neighbors. Also, on the Navajo Reservation, the Navajo, uh, either they, some of them worked in mines that were unventilated. Mm -hmm. Others found out they could just take a pick and a shovel, and, and they learned what a v uranium vein looked like, where to find one, and they would just tunnel, they called them dog holes, they would tunnel into the uh, side of a mountain, side of a cliff, and bring out ore, and they'd sell it to a middleman. And they'd be crawling way back in this unventilated little, uh, and, and if you travel, if you go to um, Ambrosia Lake, this area of the uh, uh, rich uranium area, you will see these dog holes on the canyon walls. And they're little. They're, they're like about the size of a dog crawling. So these people, no one knew. The other thing about uh, the coal miners, you could never smoke in a coal mine because it would blow up. Mm -hmm. But you could smoke in a uranium mine. A friend of mine, uh, oh, yeah, boy, we became friends. He, he was a radiation biologist who, uh, as a, a college student in Colorado, had um, done some research in, in a coal mine, and everybody smoked. I mean, in a uranium mine, sorry, everyone smoked, even though there were signs saying no smoking. But radon has a synergistic effect with cigarette smoke. And it, is, it makes it much more carcinogenic than it already is. But as these miners came pouring into places like New Mexico to mine, they were, had, they were examined by doctors before they went to work. Because if they had an existing lung condition, from especially those coal miners, mm -hmm. they didn't want to be blamed for it or foot the bill for you know, it. Was, it was that kind of thing. So they have condition. very good medical records, the, the big mines. I'm not talking about the Navajos on the on their res own reservation bringing out the ore to a middleman, but the people working in the mines, they have pretty good health records on that. Uh, and so the bottom line of this is that less than 3% of those miners, and tens of thousands of miners came pouring in, less than 3% were Native Americans. And of those, I mean, there have been studies done, there were some Navajo men who, uh, at that time, Navajo didn't smoke. And so they, but they were de developing lung cancers. So they, there was a small percentage of them that had lung cancers. But this was by no means some epidemic. Once they start ventilating, the rate of lung cancers 
uh, became the same as anywhere else in, in, in New Mexico, for example. So uh, this, it's a kind of myth that the Native Americans were unfairly, you know, they, they were round up and enslaved somehow, or lied to, or whatever. This did, this, unfortunately, this has happened in the history of Native Americans in the, in, yes. But this was not the case with the uranium mines. And I talked to a guy from the Zuni reservation who uh, was a miner, and he said, hell, we made good money, you know? He said, I made $60,000 a year. I sent my kids to college. I, you know, this was, this is what I, we did. But he, he, you know, you have to know that Zunis feel that they're better than Navajos, and Navajos feel that they're better than Zunis. The, Navajo, the Zunis believe, they have, and it's interesting, because they they've been in the region for a much longer time oh. than the Navajo. The Navajo migrated in about 600 years ago, 500 years ago, from the Northwest, okay. Pacific Northwest. So they're rather new, relatively speaking. But the Zuni uh, probably, you know, they go back way, way back. And they had a superstition about spending time in caves or underground. They don't do it. And so they had an open pit mine on the Zuni reservation. It was run by some big mining company, not by the Zuni, but the Zuni worked there. And he said, no, the Zunis didn't get sick, but the Navajos who went underground got sick. So to assume that if we started mining uranium again, Navajos would die is really not uh, a reasonable thing. What's actually happening to the Navajo, sadly enough, is they live in the Four Corners area where there's these gigantic coal-fired plants, because there's a rich amount of coal up in that area. And there are coal mines now on the reservations. This coal is rich in uranium. So when it is burned, they are getting an exposure to the, uh, it's 400 times more radioactive than uh, a, a nuclear plant in the Four Corners area. That, uh, the, that, that the coal uranium ionized there. coal there. Oh. And uh, coal combustion concentrates uh, uranium and radium and stuff. They're getting exposed to the, the, the junk coming out of these tall stacks. You can see the plumes when you fly over. They voted not to have any more uranium mines on their land. And uh, to which I say, well, good, because future generations will mine it more cleanly. They already have ways of mining it more cleanly. In fact, not even using miners, using a, another way of extracting uranium from underground. It involves dissolving, it's a whole story. But, uh, the technology need, needs to be approved. So it doesn't, the loss of life to uranium mining just can't compare to the loss from coal mining. I mean, you can't, be, just from the miners and the black line and all, there's no comparison.